Dan Tamarkin here from Tamarkin Camera in downtown Chicago to talk a little bit about how to choose a Leica M lens. The first thing to understand about Leica uh, M cameras is that they're rangefinder cameras, which means that you're looking through this little window. You're not actually looking through the lens itself. As you can see, the lens is placed here and the viewfinder is, is here. And so we do have parallax correction, which allows you to focus the lens. But it's very important to understand in choosing Leica lenses that there are no zooms because you're simply looking through this little piece of glass which has little bright line frame lines inside of it. And as you mount different lens models, the proper bright line frame lines appear in the rangefinder, which allows you to compose your image. However, you only have one lens on the camera at a time. So choosing the Leica lens that you'll be using to compose your images is very important. Understanding how the rangefinder works is the first step in choosing a Leica lens. Here on the table, we have a number of 50 millimeter lenses, uh, some from the 1950s, uh, 1970s, uh, 80s, 90s, currently manufactured. Uh, these are F2 lenses, these are F1.4 lenses, and these are faster, not deluxe lenses, uh, which we'll talk about in a moment. The important thing to understand also about rangefinder lenses is that you have a mechanical connection when you mount the lens. All the lenses snap right into the body and they're very, very compact. They all have focus and they all have aperture. These are the important facets of any photographic lens. The way that the system works is that you have this mechanical connection here. As you focus the lens, this little cam moves in and out and it in turn moves this little lever, which is what you use to focus. The rangefinder is calibrated to focus in this connection. Why do people use Leica lenses? Well, because they're extremely compact, they're extremely well-made, and the optics are the best in the world. Why do all Leica users use these funny words like Sumacron and Sumalux and Elmerit and Noctilux? All of these terms are trademark Leica terms that refer to the f-stop of the lens. So for example, all Sumacrons are f2. That's the widest aperture that the lens has. So what do these words mean? Sumacron, f2. Sumalux f1.4. Noctilux can be f1.2, f1, or 0.95, which is the fastest production lens in the world. All of these Leica M lenses are extremely compact and they all work on the older M cameras, newer M cameras, and even digital M cameras. So a lens that was made in the 1950s will work just fine on a modern Leica M digital camera. Nonetheless, it's very important to choose the right focal length for you. There are two other terms that Leica uses in their manufacture of their lenses. One is APO, which stands for apochromatically corrected, and then aspherical. Apochromatic correction addresses an anomaly called um, chromatic apparition, where colors shift and are not rendered necessarily correctly, and you can get color fringing and all kinds of other uh, uh, effects that, you, that we don't really like. So some of the lenses that Leica design, such as the Apo Aspherical um, 50 Sumacron, are corrected for color and corrected for all of the light rays to meet on the film plane at exactly the same time. So APO stands for apochromatically corrected. And there is benefit in having an APO lens even if you're shooting black and white. It means that the lens renders more sharply with higher contrast, all kinds of good things. The other designation, a spherical, um, addresses spherical apparition, which is the other kind of uh, apparition that happens in 35 millimeter photography. The important thing to understand is that aspherical lenses generally are less prone to flare, have a flatter field, and the edges of the photograph are generally sharper um, and higher contrast with better color rendering. Uh, however, the important thing to understand in choosing a Leica lens is that these are little gems and it doesn't matter whether you have something that's a spherical 
or something that's vintage. They all make fabulous images and you basically get higher contrast as you get more modern. So as you continue or embark on your Leica journey, please do contact us at tamarkin.com or by dialing 800 by Leica so that we can help you choose exactly the right camera and Leica lens for your photographic journey. Also on our website, tamarkin.com, you can look at some of the differences between the vintage models and more modern models, as well as the Leica digital cameras, and even some of the very rare collectible cameras that we have to offer. We're more than happy to share our knowledge of every photographic Leica device that's been brought to market since 1925. Give us a call or send us an email and let us know how we can help you find the right camera and the right lens for you.